So to update the radio logos on your DA Bay radio on the VW MIB2 system, you need to first know what the version of radio you've got, so the part number and also the hardware version. So to do that, you press the menu button, you go to settings, you scroll down, you go to system information and then in there you need the hardware version so 851 and you need the part number and then you take that to a website which I'll show you in a second to download to an SD card the updated logos for the car so now you've got your hardware numbers from your actual car you need to go to this website phonestar.de forward slash vw forward slash en forward slash download, I'll stick a link in the description. You need to scroll down on this website until you get to this search for part box here and put your part number in of the radio. So there was mine, as you saw earlier in the video. Press the arrows and it will give you the files that are available. So this is where you need that hardware number. And mine was 851. So I need to download this file here for the 851 version. So all you do is download, it will go to your downloads folder. There's also a manual here if you want a paper manual to take with you to do it. We'll just wait for that to download and then you open your downloads folder. It will be a zipped folder so you need to unzip it and you will see files like this in there. So now you need to get your SD card, mine is here. I'll open that in a new window and you need to copy those files all of them into your SD card folder and wait for it to finish so I'll take a few seconds to do this you can update either via CD if you want you can update by SD card in SD slot one in your glove box or you can update by a USB stick I'm using a USB stick for mine because it's what I have most handy and attachable to my uh, PC so here just eject your stick and we need to go back to the car to finish off loading this file to your car's infotainment system so I'll see you back in the car so we're now back in the car I've plugged my USB stick in to the USB port that's used for Android Auto we do the same procedure menu settings scroll down to system information and you can update software you can also do it online i believe if you play for carnet which i don't so you press update software it'll search for the file and you can see their available logo data and if you click next it will tell you and it'll start doing the software update i'm going to cancel mine because i've already done it and um, I don't want to overwrite it, but once it's done, it'll ask you to reset the head unit. And once you've reset the head unit, you'll have all the up-to-date files on there, which will auto-load, or you can manually go and load the files to a station. So I'm just going to cancel that. And just a quick update at the end, if you haven't got an image on a station, um, that should have an image all you need to do is go to your station list choose a radio station you want an image for um, so it comes up there so it's now playing radio 2 and hold down the button on the favorite you want it sat to and you can see that it's changed to radio 2 with an image so any any radio station that has an image stored that's all you need to do to get the image to store to your favorites if you like the video Please like, favourite and subscribe and hit me up on the next one. Peace.